Hey, what's going on? Dodgers Nation, Doug McCain here. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. For all things Dodger baseball, all postseason long, be sure to subscribe to the Dodgers Nation YouTube channel. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. And if you want to see us post even more Dodgers content, smash that like button. And as always, I want your takes down below in the comments section. Today's Dodgers Nation question of the day. Should the Dodgers consider using Julio Urias as a bullpen piece in tomorrow's wild card game and moving forward in the postseason. Should they use him as a weapon? Let me know down below in the comment section. And for all latest Dodgers news, head over to DodgersNation.com. So we've got a little breaking news to report here. Just moments ago, Dave Roberts told us that Julio Urias will be an option to come out of the Dodgers bullpen behind Max Scherzer. So we've been wondering, will the Dodgers consider using Julio Urias in the wild card game? And the answer is yes. Now, the big question now is, is he a breaking case of emergency guy? Or is he a guy that they'll look to to get those final three outs in the ninth inning? Or will he be a high leverage guy in the eighth inning? In my opinion, I think if Max Scherzer comes out and he doesn't pitch well, that's when you consider bringing on Julio Urias. Because Scherzer, he's been fantastic as a Dodger. L.A. is 11-0 in his starts. He has a 1.98 ERA. But in his last two starts, in 10 to thirds innings, he's given up 10 runs on 17 hits. So if he doesn't have it tomorrow, and I think he will, but at the end of the day, you just never know. Baseball is going to baseball. And if you remember, two years ago in the 2019 wild card game between the Brewers and the Nationals. Scherzer started that game for the Nats. He ends up going five innings, gives up three runs, had three walks. So not a bad start at all, but not a dominant start either. The kinds that we've seen him have with the Dodgers since he joined the club. But if it is a short start for Scherzer tomorrow, I would have no issue seeing Julio be the first guy come out of the Dodgers bullpen. Because look, tomorrow is a game five of the division series. It is a game seven. It is do or die. Who cares about having him for the NLDS if you're not going to be in the NLDS. And the bottom line is we've seen him get it done for this club on the biggest stage. And we know the Dodgers, they have an Urias up their sleeve in Julio Urias. And last year, you saw what he did in the postseason. It was a legendary run for Julio, who was a big reason why the Dodgers ended their 32-year World Series drought. Just look at the run he had last October. Urias had Urias in his veins all October long. He went 4-0 with a save and a 1-1-7 ERA, 29 punch outs to just four walks in 23 postseason innings. And one of the things that made it so impressive was that he was getting it done in different roles. We saw him as the closer. We saw him as the incredible bulk out of the pen. We saw him as the starter. He was successful in each of those roles. Out of the bullpen, he was lights out. He went 13 and thirds innings, didn't give up a single run. Then as a starter, a lot of people forget this, but he started in one game three of the NLCS. He went five innings. He allowed one run. But the two appearances that we'll never forget are first game seven of the NLCS. We went three innings. He got the win and he didn't allow a single base runner. And and then you fast forward to game six of the World Series. He goes two and a third innings and he strikes out four of the seven batters he faced. So what did the NLCS appearance and the World Series appearance have in common? He didn't allow a single base runner. So this guy is absolute nails when it matters most. He has that slow heartbeat. He has the pulse for the big stage. Now am I confident in Blake Trinan and Kenley Jansen? I am, but tomorrow is a single elimination game. And if they think that Julio Urias gives them the best chance to get the final outs to come up big in those high leverage situations. I have to trust them in that situation because I think that Kenley Jansen is going to be the guy this postseason. But hey, I don't think that he should feel bad tomorrow if they go with Julio in that spot because Julio Urias has proven he can get the final three outs on the biggest stage. And that is what's most important tomorrow. And I think this club realizes that and they know he's young. He loves to pitch. He'll be fine the NLDS. Tomorrow's all about getting that win and advancing against a very tough Cardinals team that just won 17 games last month. So I think the Dodgers are really saying that, hey, Julio was the formula last year. He was the weapon that took care of business on the biggest stage. And what if you did put Kenley Jansen out there in a one-run game in the ninth and he pulls a World Series game four and the Dodgers have a long, cold winter to think about it. So as confident as I am in Kenley 
Kenley Jansen. I'm all about the matchups. And if they think the matchups favor Kenley Jansen, go with Kenley. If they think the matchups favor Julio Urias, go with Julio Urias. And make no mistake about it, Kenley had a really good year. Since July 22nd, he's been excellent. He's been one of the best relievers in the game. He has a 117 ERA since blowing those three straight saves after the break. But we've also seen Kenley go from great to bad all of a sudden. And you just never know. Look in 2017, as great as he was that year, Marwin Gonzalez happened. So you just never know. And I trust them to make the right decision. I would love to see Kenley Jansen out there and getting it done. It wouldn't shock me in the least if he went out there and dominated the Cardinals in a closed game. But if they were to use Julio Urias, I wouldn't have any issue with it because you're talking about one inning, maybe 20 pitches, maybe 30 pitches. If it gets to 30, you know we're in trouble and he'll still be ready to go at some point early on in the NLDS. So the Dodgers need to see red against the Redbirds, do whatever it takes to get that win, and we'll worry about the NLDS when we get there. I'm still confident that this team has the depth to get it done in the next round if they were to face the San Francisco Giants, but there will be no next round if they don't win tomorrow. So I can't stress that enough. Now, ideally, you don't see Julio Urias tomorrow, and I think for the rest of the postseason, you use him as a starter the whole way because last year, they needed him to be that Swiss Army knife. Well, this year, I'm hoping that he can be a samurai sword where he just focuses on giving you those quality innings. He doesn't have to worry about having different roles, like being a starter and a bulk guy, a reliever, a closer. I think that he's going to be at his best as a starter, but I think for tomorrow, it's different. Tomorrow is a single elimination game, and that's what changes everything. But let me know down below in the comment section, how do you think the Dodgers should use Julio Urias tomorrow in the wild card game? Do you want to see him come in after Max Scherzer? Should he be the closer? Should he be the setup guy? To me, I'd be fine with him coming out after Max Scherzer, but I'd be okay to see him get those final three outs. Look, imagine if Kenley Jansen came in and blew it, and we have to think about all offseason, what would it have been like to have Julio, a guy that we've seen, get those final three outs in the NLCS, get those final three outs in the World Series, knowing we could have used him and we didn't. So that's something to consider. And I've been giving Kenley Jansen tons of love lately, but I've also said that his best role is closer by committee. I've held true to that for years now, and I think that it wouldn't be a bad thing if Julio got the final three outs tomorrow, and then for the rest of the way, Kenley got some massive saves. But let me know down below in the comment section. I want all your takes on this one. My name is Doug McCain. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. That's at DMAC underscore LA. For all things Dodger baseball, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and if you want to see us post even more Dodgers content smash that like button for our latest dodgers nation merch head over to gearup.la for latest dodgers news head over to dodgersnation.com download the dodgers nation app for my android and iphone users and until next time think blue bleed blue and i'm out